Hey everyone, it's Margaret and I'm here giving you guys my latest tutorial and I'm inspired by what happened recently with all the great fashion runway looks of the fashion weeks and I'm going to do my rendition of what I got inspired in New York which was Diane von Furstenberg's collection, the resort collection. Everything was so fresh and clean and ready to wear and I wanted to do my take on what I got from um, hers in particular, the Diane von Furstenberg Resort Collection of 2013 Spring. Um, and I'm giving my twist. So what I'm doing just quickly is I'm going to put, be putting the highlighter on. And please make a note that this year makeup is going to be very deconstructed and very natural. Um, on many elements and especially um, it'll be either really natural eyes and really strong lips or very strong eyes and no lips and no cheeks and and the the whole concept of deconstructed is is that it's supposed to look like it's not completed but it's it's it is so but I'm basically putting together a look that I feel is more about who I am as an artist, collectively taking from what's going on with the trends. So what I did was I put the highlighting powder, which is like a pearl feel color to it. And I'm using like a sandy, very soft, sandy, taupey, um, and it has a little bit of a, a sheen to it, a shimmer um, powder over the lids and I'm, I'm basically melding those two colors together and I'm using a flat rounded brush and as you can see I'm just just putting it all over the lid and I want it to just bring the warmth and reflection out from me from with the shimmer um, and yet I want it to have a little bit more of, of warmth because I think that the eyes need a little bit, and even though after I'm done with this, you'll see how natural it still is going to look, but I'm really playing off the shadows and light technique with this because um, dark pulls in and light pulls out, so I'm really utilizing that. So now I'm taking my flat brush, my rectangle brush, and I am just going right on the lash line with a very, very um, soft, almost kind of like an umber brown, um, not too dark, but just a nice kind of a brick brown. And I'm just going right above the, the lash line and I'm gonna clean that up. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of fallout powder underneath the eyes, just cause I don't want any kind of speckles of dark uh, shadow, shadow to hit the skin. So I'm gonna use the same kind of brownish burnt umber color right on the bottom lash line like that and just gently just put a little just a little bit not too much and just go right across the lash line and it's really pretty because it really does rim the eyes but it still creates that almost no makeup look but it does create a nice symmetry and nice dimension and that's the thing about makeup which is really I think important when you're doing makeup is that even though you're not wanting to look heavy or made up you still want to look your best and that's why using shadows and light technique will allow you to create the proper symmetry to bring your best features out and hide the not so great features um, and you know we can definitely talk more about that um, you know if you wanted to learn more techniques so now what I'm doing is I'm actually adding some color to the cheek. Um, the eyes are so soft and so, you know, just kind of clean and neutral that I thought, you know, for the cheeks, we can really play up with a little bit more of a pastel soft kind of, um, you know, a mid-century modern pink, which I think is really, really pretty. It's a very retro pink. And so, I'm, and this one has a tinge of a little bit of a shimmer, kind of powdery shimmer to it and as you can see how it's very soft pink and it's a nice contrast to the neutral eyes and yet there's something retro about this because it has the color and the neutral tones going on at the same time um, the skin should be very matte and so I you know I did 
I did do a nice matte uh, foundation base before I started doing the eyes, so which I didn't show you guys on this one. If you want to learn how to do some foundation, you can go to my other videos, which I always do um, a lot of the uh, foundation demos. But see how I'm just really putting a real pop of pink in the, in the cheeks, but not too heavy. I don't want it to be, I want it to have a soft, reflective feel. And so see how pretty that is. And it's because of the eyes are so soft that it will draw attention to the cheek. And so I'm just gingerly putting that on without overdoing it. And yet I want it to really have a nice feel to it. So here I'm just blending that all together. And, you know, even though this seems like pretty easy, it's really not because you really have to have the right balance of what you do. So I'm going to put um, the a very black, black, black mascara on Karina to just bring the lashes and just draw, just kind of finalize and fin create the finished look for the eyes. And so with this, I am just allowing each of the lashes to be coated with the super black and see how that just really it, it does add a nice finished look but even though because we're not doing any heavy lines or heavy colors around the eyes the black will really emphasize and really it will rim the eyes really well and you'll see how 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 much of an impact mascara will do i always say that mascara does create a nice finished look and so does lipstick and what I'm going to do a little bit differently with this look as well is that um, that taking from what's going on with the trends right now with all the Fashion Week looks, um, I'm really allowing the the um, the colors to pop out a little bit more in the areas that I'm using color. A lot of the the um, the looks on the runways were very neutral colors, very just earth tones. And, and some color, but not a lot. I'm actually adding color. I went a little bit more with the color with the cheeks and a little bit more color with the lips, um, which I think adds a nice, really nice, elegant finish to it. And yet it still supports that whole kind of deconstructed look. So as you see how I'm just, I mean, Karina has like super natural long lashes, as you can see. Um, but just regardless, you want to definitely create a nice, you know, just rimming of the lashes with the black, and it really does pop the eyes out. And so as I'm doing this, I'm just going to add the final coat on the other eye. And see how you can really, 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 really see the colors of the soft, taupey colors of the eyeshadow. It, it's starting to really, really kind of really come out but not over um, emphasize on the eyes it just it just has that softness and it just creates a little bit more of a feel and, and the black mascara really does support it so it really does emphasize much more of it and and you'll see how once I start putting you know the finishing touches you'll see how really 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 pretty that is and I love this because it's still very natural but very elegant and sophisticated and yet ready to wear. So I'm just going to clean off all the little fallout powder here and just blend that in with my fan brush. And I'm just going to blend in the cheeks a little bit more like that and around the jawline. And um, allowing the, the eyes and the cheeks and the skin to all come out is I think really important because you can let the natural oils sit in. So now I'm just gonna take some, a little bit of my brown, not dark brown, but brown, um, it's a matte brown eyesha eye, eyeshadow. It's a hard eyeshadow that I'm just putting it over the brows because I don't want the brows to look overdone, but I want it to definitely have a little bit more um, detailing. Um, in some cases, you know, a lot of the, the looks right now are very kind of like just let the eyebrows be or they go super dark. And I just kind of went in between. I went with a little bit more um, put together and more defined but not over, uber, uber dark. Because um, they the looks that they're doing right now are really, really super dark eyebrows or no eyebrows. 
And so I, like I said, I want to create a, you know, I, I've created a little bit more of my influence on this, and I went kind of, I met halfway, if you will. Um, it should look fresh and clean, but not overdone, but yet it should definitely support and have its own thing. So now, this is where the most intense part, and this is where the, the eye should really draw to the face. So I'm using a very, very, um, kind of a, a deep cranberry red a lipstick, and I'm using a traditional lipstick on the uh, lip, and it's much more, it's more of a pinky red, but at the same time, it's, it's got a little bit more blue in it, um, which will definitely um, balance out the cheeks, and yet it also allows the, the neutral tones of the taupe on the shadow to kind of all kind of pull together, and all the attention will start pulling right to the lips, but everything else will be supported. And so I think it's such a pretty, pretty look when you when you look at it in that aspect, and, and you can do this makeup you know, on brides, you can do it on prom night, you can do it on dates, you can do it on, you know, going to the ch going to church. I mean, it's so versatile and elegant going out on, you know, with your girlfriends at night and, or you can totally just wear this to the office. It's such a pretty look, so versatile and it's ready to wear. It's very fresh, it's very springy, summery. Um, you can definitely, you know, if you feel like just wearing a little bit more, I mean, the red lips definitely will spice it up, but if you want to just look really kind of put together but supernatural, you can even go with a lighter lip and more, maybe a pinky color lip, or you can even go with a red, but a sheer red, like a transparent gloss. I just like using a real lipstick on this one because there's something kind of retro going on here, and I didn't want to go with a super uber glossy lip I want it to have a really pretty finish, and I really love what Diane von Fustenberg did this year, utilizing the very resort feel, but taking retro influences, and as well, creating a real natural deconstructed look to the makeup, but still having it put together, and so I, basically that's really what I did with this, and I really want all of you who are going to do this to also play around with different variations with the, you know, the lip color and the cheek color. You can even go with a little bit more of a, a peachy tone and then use more of a um, orangey color lip, like a chrysanthemum or something. But go with something a little bit more impactful. You know, definitely don't just, you know, try, you know, the typical. Maybe go a little bit more. You can even try like a deep purple, which is kind of an in color right now too, and that will definitely give it a nice little spice to this look. So you can do so much with this. Now if any of you are interested in learning a lot more in depth techniques and learning a lot more of referencing and you know just overall like very you know stringent learning um, lessons I would suggest to take the online training program that I have with, through MKC Beauty Academy. So if you want to, or you can go to howtomakeup.com and, or you can go to MKC Beauty Academy and click on the online training. And also I am taking private lessons. So if you're interested in doing some, you know, private lessons with me, definitely you can contact me through mkcbeautyacademy.com as well and some people also want to do blended programs where they do part partly online and then they come in and do an intensive training with me so there's a lot of ways you can learn and I, I do certification classes as well as those who just want to learn so um, you know th these these videos I have these tutorials are you know certainly informative but they're scratching the surface on if, if this is something you want to really do as a career and it's a great career and there's a lot of information that I definitely could you know give you and as well if you don't want to come in the online training classes are absolutely fantastic 
Um, a lot of them are actually taken from actual classes that I teach at the school. So you're not losing any, any information if you decide not to come to the school and just do the online training. Um, the hands-on training is fantastic because I am going to definitely be mentoring and coaching you and really helping your hand right then and there. But by all means, you know, it's all good. It's all good, whatever you decide. And these are just inspiration videos for you to, you know, learn just ideas and inspiration. But if you really want to learn step by step, I mean, that's the way to go. And so, as you can see right here, I'm just cleaning the the edge of these red, red super red lip because you know I'm not using pencils and I'm freestyling it and you really want to make sure you have a very clean smooth finish and so I want to make sure that all my lines are even and pretty and look at how pretty that red lip is it's just you know it really does draw attention to the the front of the face but everything seems to really kind of all melt together now in a very no nice soft natural way and the eyes really the the mascara really does accentuate the softness to the eyes and yet there's such a sheer elegance to it and the 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 red lips really creates a very sexy feel to this look cuz this look is very natural and it's also very um you know clean so it does not it does create a nice um daytime feel but you can also wear this at night it's pretty versatile you know it definitely is a, per a very versatile look so now that we're here we're doing the last minute touches and i'm just going to balance this red out a little bit and red lips you know they they do take time to perfect because especially because i'm not using any pencils and I want you all to practice using freestyle because pencils sometimes look kind of fake and they don't always create a nice feel to the lip. It, it kind of, to me, sometimes lip pencils can close in the lip. So, you know, try practicing without it and by all means you can use it. And I'm just going to add a little bit more pink. And I'm actually putting a little bit more softer pink on the top part of her cheeks just to pull it out a little bit more because the red definitely, it, it does tone down the cheek and the eyes. But I don't want to, I don't want to add too much to the, to the eyes, but I just want to add a little bit more to the cheek. And there you go. So this is my rendition of Fashion Week 2013 inspired by Diane von Fustenberg. For her resort collection and this is to me my take on spring look i have actually another one coming up and it's almost like the opposite it's a little it's much more um more european um milan and i'm actually going to do something from gucci so stay tuned for more thanks for watching subscribe and like <laughs>